Mike here from Job Progress. And today we want to talk about customizing your company's workflow. So to start, your workflow is the process that all of your jobs are going to move through from the minute you enter them into the system until the time that they are marked as paid and complete. In order to customize your workflow, we're going to hit the down facing arrow in the top right corner. We're going to choose settings. And then on our left hand side, we're going to locate system settings and choose workflow. From here, you'll see the current workflow stages, and these are set by default when you first sign up for job progress. At any point in time, you can click the pencil icon next to a stage and retitle it. So maybe I want to put this one as appointment set. I like my stage proposal. Follow up, that's great. Contract, I'm actually going to change that to job awarded. Maybe I want to add a new stage. So I'm going to click add new stage down on the bottom. And then you see here I can reorder my stages just by clicking and dragging on them. Perhaps this stage is going to be called pre-production. I'm clicking my green checkbox to save that. I'm going to call this one in progress. I always like to throw in an invoice stage. So this way I could see my jobs that are completed, that are invoiced, yet not paid in full. Now maybe I'll make this paid and complete. And here's a pretty solid workflow. One thing I'd like to note is that you could change the color of your workflow stages by clicking on the color circle to the right of each stage. So maybe lead, I'm going to make yellow. I like orange for that. Proposal, we'll do a nice blue. Follow up, that's usually because of a pause, so I'm going to make that red. Awarded, nice hunter green. Pre production in progress, these are all good. Choose uh, gray again. And last but not least, we'll do a nice neon green. Once I've set my colors and entered in my workflow stages, I always like to go ahead and hit save workflow just so none of the progress that I've made is lost. You also have the ability to add stage info and put exactly what this stage represents. Jobs in this stage are newly entered leads and require an appointment. The location where you would find that stage info would be if you hover over your workflow tab and then click the information icon. This would show you any goals or resources that were entered in, as well as the activity, as you see, and any messages that were created while in that workflow stage. Inside of workflow is also where you're going to activate your workflow automation. And workflow automation is the ability for the system to auto trigger out a custom email or a custom task based off of when you move from stage to stage. So maybe I want to create a task for my lead stage that's going to tell my sales rep to schedule that appointment. So first I would activate the stage by clicking on workflow automation to the right. I'm going to check off the automation that I wish to select and then hit update. From here, I would choose workflow automation setup in the top right corner, choose my task template. And now I'm going to add in my task. So I would do add task template in the top right corner, perhaps set this as set appointment, choose my stage. I can even lock the workflow from being progressed forward until this task is completed. Auto assign it to my sales rep that I've assigned on the job. Maybe I want to get notified once it's completed and then I can enter a note. Please schedule initial appointment. Sending a copy as an email would send to your personal login in job progress. So it's not going to go through the job progress email, but go to your personal one instead. Messages, however, would be an internal job progress function. Set a reminder notification, set your priority, hit save, and you're good to go. You also have that same functionality when it comes to emails. 
So perhaps after I schedule that appointment, I want that to send out an automatic email that goes to my customer. Again, I'm going to click workflow automation, enable email and hit update. From here, I'll go back to workflow automation set up in the top right corner. And this time I'm going to choose my email templates. I'll select add template and I'm just going to title it. This is the title that you guys would see. So let's put this as an upcoming appointment. Email subject will be your upcoming appointment. Maybe a little exclamation point. I'm going to link that to my stage. My recipient would be my customer. Maybe I want the sales rep to be CC'd. So I'm going to hit the CC button. And now I'm going to draft out my email. In job progress, instead of using something informal, we like to take advantage of database elements. And database elements are controlled by the cylinder icon up here in our toolbar. So if I want this to auto-populate with the customer's name, I can go ahead and choose that database element. And now no matter what job this triggers in, it will always put their information. It is set for, and let's go ahead and go back to database elements, click job, and choose appointment start date. Thank you. And maybe I want the sales rep info here, their name, their email, Oop. and of course their phone number. You also can link a logo and upload a logo directly into this email. To do so, you're going to click on the rectangle icon with the up facing arrow, and then you can either drag and drop your image or of course, browse your C drive. Once done, we're going to hit save. And now we have just successfully created workflow automations for both our tasks and our emails. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out directly. 844-562-7764, extension number two, or send an email, support at jobprogress.com. Thank you. Have a great day.